Maryland, it's another situation where the state had identified someone who simply should not be behind the wheel, and the 63-year-old responsible for this fatal accident was, in fact, driving on a suspended license, and yes, in his history, at least two drunk driving arrests. Bottom line is he has now killed a loving couple, parents and grandparents, who had been together for more than six decades. The hardest part for me in all this is that it was so sudden and such a shock, such a tragedy. They were such pleasant people, um, uh, peaceful people, and for them to have died, if you will, this violent death, uh, it's something that is uh, 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 very difficult to comprehend. Father Dwayne Novelli and his sister Maureen have been stunned by the sudden, senseless death of their 84-year-old parents, retired machinist Raymond Novelli and his wife for 63 years, Sylvia. They were in their car on Jefferson near Pheasant in Chesterfield Township around 2 o'clock this afternoon when they were struck head-on by a 63-year-old man driving a full-size pickup. Father Novelli was at the scene and saw inside that truck. Uh, a bottle of, a small bottle of whiskey. Um, I, uh, uh, I was told it wasn't open. He uh, continued to drive straight when he should have been turning. Obviously, something uh, uh, impaired his judgment. It will be difficult for the family to get through the coming days, except for the good times that will bring a smile to them about the loving parents that were so much a part of their lives. She made, well, we, we think she made the best spaghetti sauce there was. <laughs> <laughs> My dad especially loved to go sailing with me. He was such a, a help on the boat and helped me through so many years of uh, that hobby that both of us uh, enjoyed. Now, the man responsible for this accident is still hospitalized tonight. We don't know if the police were able to get a search warrant and determine if he was drinking this time around, but they will be looking into that as the accident investigation continues. Reporting live, Bill Proctor, Channel 7 Action News.